Hey guys, Dr. Nick Vaughn, I hope you're doing well. Uh, the question is, what is the effect of uh, marijuana, uh, THC, on men's health? Well, the quick answer is not good, but let me tell you why. So marijuana affects the testosterone level by its psychoactive. The THC, which is the stimulant part of it, causes a reduction in your male testosterone production at the testes. The exact mechanism is not known, but when they study men who are on marijuana chronically, they see a gradual decline in testosterone value and also a decrease in their sperm quality. The testosterone value that's decreased is believed to have an effect on the pituitary as it affects the pituitary hypothalamic response. So remember, you have a hypothalamic and the pituitary response that sends signals to the testes and marijuana is supposedly believed to affect that region, which causes then decrease in testosterone value. The hormone imbalance then is created based on the secondary effect that it does to the pituitary. So we know based on the studies, and I can tell you, since the legalization of marijuana in the state of California, we've had a much more frequent diagnosis of low testosterone in younger male. Yes, younger male, not a good thing. So the other aspect of it that I would bring to your attention is the effect on sexual dysfunction. If you're using marijuana chronically, it creates sexual dysfunction. What it does, it decreases libido desire, your go get full drive and causes erectile dysfunction. It also reduces your ability to perform in the bedroom. More importantly, marijuana has been long-term evidence to increase breast tissue in male, gynecomastia. It's believed that marijuana alters the way the estrogen and testosterone receptors uh, talk regarding the ratios and the effect of testosterone of estrogen can be altered. So the higher the estrogen value, the lower the testosterone, so that if the numerator is testosterone and the denominator is estrogen, if you alter that ratio, the men will develop more testosterone issues too. Last but not least, we believe that marijuana really is not the best THC for mental health because it creates anxiety, depression, or schizophrenia. There's lots of studies that show that this is actually an issue in the clinical data we see in patients. Now, if you smoke marijuana, then you have the respiratory problems like you know respiratory, breathing, asthma, exacerbation. So it's just like smoking, not a good idea. Last but not least, the benefits in the cardiovascular world is really not known. We don't know if there's any benefits, but we don't know if marijuana affects that in male health. We do know that marijuana, THC, alters your sleep significantly. Not CBD, but marijuana, THC, alters your sleep cycle. Anything that disrupts your sleep cycle is a no. Do not, do not, do not alter the sleep pattern, sleep cycle, very, very importantly. And last but not importantly, if you smoke marijuana and you're high, guess what? Your production goes down. So you don't study as much, you don't work as much, your job can suffer, your relationship can suffer, you can drive under the influence, all kinds of crazy things can happen. Now, I'm not 100% against marijuana use in patients who need it for medical conditions, just pain. I am against it when it comes to young men using marijuana because it has a very bad deteriorous effect on the body and especially male health. And I see it frequently in our practice because we've been doing this for a long time. And we've noticed that the increased incidence of hypogonadism in younger males are much more common than it was before they legalized this drug. I hope this guys answers your question. So marijuana and men health, not the best thing. Kind of want to stay away from it. It's very similar to alcohol and its toxic effects. Of course, it does have medicinal benefits for those patients who are in pain, but you need to be under a prescribed licensed provider who knows what these things are. Therefore, if you're planning to use marijuana for those recreational, that's best you check your testosterone value because you wanna know where you started before you get on these recreational drugs, okay? Thank you.